What? Who are, Who are you, are guys? you guys? Who are you? What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? What the hell's going on around here? What the hell is going on around here? What's that? <sighs> They're not here. It's over. They're gone. The Gabao is gone. It's finally over. It's quiet here. A little too quiet. Christmas lights. Is this real life? Or is this fantasy? Ooh, pancakes. Finally, some peace and quiet. Ah. Wait. Hmm. Ah. That's a damn fine cup of coffee. Maybe I should try this online thing. I heard it's called Tinder. Board games. What do I want to play today? I want to play this game. What is this? I've heard about this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've heard it's good. All right, let's give it a go. Gundam? What's going on around here? Who are you guys? What are you doing in my Ah, you're still here? Oh, that must mean... Oh, yeah. Now I remember. It's all coming back to me now. We're still doing the Shaka Kapow Christmas calendar. Wow. Huh? It's not Christmas anymore? What are you saying? Christmas is over? Oh no. I slept too long. What? Seriously? It's the year 2021? We're in the future? Oh my god. That's incredible. Whew. I need a drink. <sighs> Mmm, that's a damn fine cup of coffee. All right, sorry, fella. Hmm, yeah, I felt better. <sighs> All right, welcome back, guys, and welcome to the final episode 
of the Sheka Kapow Christmas Calendar. The only show where we go Sheka Kapow and you know, sometimes we go Bagabow. It happens once in a while, I guess. You know, really depends though. But yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so, wow, the final episode. We're nearly there. Okay, so, in today's episode, we are gonna take a look. Ah, screw it, I'll just show it to you. We're gonna do Daredevil Born Again. Okay, so Daredevil Born Again is written by Frank Miller. It's illustrated by David Machiav Mazzucchelli, David Mazzucchelli, and it's published by Marvel Comics. And this comic book came out in 1986 originally. So, why are we going for Frank Miller, Daredevil Born Again? Frank Miller's Daredevil Born Again. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. I really wanted to do a Frank Miller comic book here on the show. And, well, there are a lot of good stuff there to choose from. Most of them done in the 80s, but okay. So, you have stuff like 300, you have Sin City, Batman Dark Knight Returns, and Batman Year One, and then we have this one. And I chose Daredevil Born Again because... In my opinion, this comic book is sometimes overshadowed and overlooked by Frank Miller's Batman Dark Knight Returns, for example, where I would actually say this is very much, this is, in my opinion, this is just as good. And this is very much Daredevil's own kind of Dark Knight Returns. Mm. Yeah, so... It, this is so good, it's phenomenal, and it's one of the best comic books Frank Miller has ever written. And it's one of the best comic books I can think of. Definitely the best Daredevil comic book, and one of my favorite Marvel comic books. Alright. I don't even know where to start on this one, but... Yeah, I, I have to go into spoilers, but I'll try to, I'm just going to tell you as little as I can, so you can enjoy this for yourself. Now, what is this comic book about? I would say Daredevil Born Again is about going through your own personal hell, and it's about darkness, it's about hope, it's about redemption. It's about getting back up again and, uh, yeah, overcoming bad stuff. And that's kind of at the heart of the story. Like, all the characters, you have four very central characters here. You have Matt Murdock, you have Karen Page, Foggy, and Ben Urich, the reporter, uh, the journalist. Uh, and they all go through some really bad stuff and kind of this is about how they deal with it okay so that that's kind of what it's about and our story starts with kingpin discovering matt murdoch's secret identity as daredevil and instead of trying to kill daredevil or just like dealing with him straight away he plans this wicked evil <laughs> scheme to just systematically destroy everything uh, for Matt Murdock and just take everything away from him one piece at a time so when we start here like just well on the first page we we learn how this goes about and because Kingpin learns Matt Murdock's secret identity because Karen Page, who she kind of she's in Mexico and she has become a heroin addict and she's so desperate and she's so like really really messed up and down that she the only thing she has left 
that is of value is the secret to Daredevil's identity and she sells that for just one more hit. Yeah, um, this information reaches Kingpin because some time back he put out the word that if anyone heard any rumors or anything about Daredevil's secret identity he would want them to report back to him and he would pay good money for that information. So this is how he discovers Matt's secret identity. And yeah, so we start after that. Let's just jump a little bit. With Matt waking up in his apartment. And he's in between jobs. And then in just in one day, in that morning, just everything falls apart and his whole life kind of crumbles before he's even had his morning coffee so yeah and the illustrations are really good and perfect for this story because they really show the desperation and the misery and all the bad stuff the emotions of the characters it's yeah it's just perfect now I don't want to say too much but if you guys saw the Netflix show the Daredevil Netflix show and if you liked that you're definitely gonna love this comic book because that was very inspired from Daredevil Born Again especially season two and mostly three and season three is probably my favorite season of that show. Hmm. Yeah. Daredevil Born Again. Um, like, you don't need to be into superheroes and superhero comic books to enjoy this one. You, if you just like good comic books or if you just need or want uh, something really, really good to read, this is fantastic. This is a... Uh, masterpiece all right that was that guys i'm just gonna have some more coffee i really need this coffee mm. ah. Ah. okay now all right all right all right all right Whew. it's over it's done we can all go home now. We're free. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for sticking around and seeing this through with me. Yeah. And uh, we did it. And I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope it gave you some ideas and uh, some good reads. And... Hopefully you enjoyed all the Christmas madness we did here with the Magabao and the funny things in the house. Well, yeah. And I also hope you had a nice Christmas. So you guys take care and uh, I'll see you around. <laughs>
I seeing things? Is this real life? Or is this some fantasy? Oh, friend, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Uncle Babsy's Clubhouse. You know, I've been very, very mad. A very mad boy. So, I made some pet pancakes to make everyone happy. Would you like some pancakes? To make you happy? If so, say yes. So, how'd that date go with that ninja? You know, actually, not bad at all. Alright. Uh, we went on a horse carriage ride, which I paid, of course. Of course. And then we went to a very nice restaurant. We had some oysters. Some very good wine. Did you have burritos? She has a classy bra, so you no. Know. <sighs> then, I got some chocolates for her. All right. A lot of flowers. Nice. But... Well, did you get a score? Well, you see, what happened was, out of nowhere, this red horned devil shows up, and they both attack me. What? On really? top of the roof. Huh. So what happened? Well, it's like what Tommy Arashikaga always says. Who? Me, Tommy Arashikaga. Oh, uh, yeah. What does he say? Kill them all. Oh. I see. Double or nothing. This sword cuts this ball in half. Bullshit. Double or nothing, Rap. Come on, man. Are you crazy? I need the money. <sighs> what? Who are you guys? What are you doing in my house? What the hell is going on around here? You guys can't be real. None of this can't be real. What is this? It's not real. It's in my head. No way. It's not real. is mine. And then I punched him. And then I kicked him. And I punched him again. And uh, and then I killed him. Oh. Oh. Oh.
What's going on? Am I seeing things? Is this real life? Or is this some fantasy? Huh. And we will snatch them, carry them into the sewers, and toss them into a deep, dark, watery grave! You fight well, in the old style. I'm going out on another day tonight. Kawabunga. I love you being a turtle. The old style. Kawabunga. I'm going you out. I love well. being a turtle. Kawabunga. What? Kawabunga. Who are you guys? What? Why are you what? doing in my house? Who are, Who are you guys? guys? What the hell's going on around what here? Doing what are you doing house? in my house? What the hell is what going on around here? What the hell here? is going on around here? I love being a turtle. Kawabunga. You love being a turtle. You guys can't be real. I love being a turtle. I'm going to None of this can't be real. I'm going out on another date tonight. What is this? I'm going out How was your date, bro? Man, she tried to kill me. Ooh, bummer. Yeah, I know. Wonder what I got from Santa. Hi, Bacalao. I wonder what's under the tree. How's it going? From Santa to KH. I know exactly what you mean. I wonder if it's that comic I wanted for Christmas. Oh yeah, that's a great comic. Oh, wow. It is the comic I wanted for Christmas. Enjoy reading it. It is the comic I wanted for Christmas. Cow bunk it, dude. See you later. What are you guys doing in my mouse? What the hell is going? Hon, Horan, 
Hiri. Heir in my house. Heir in my house. Is his madness. Is his Christmas. Samtse. Zi. Zi. Sendam. You fight well in the old style, but you've caused me enough trouble. Now you face the Shredder. The Shredder? I got him. Where's Splinter? Ah, oh, the rat. So it has a name. It had a name. Hey, dude. Just finished hockey practice. Thought I might drop by. What are you doing? Are you playing with yourself? You crazy. I worry about you, man. I think you lost it. Finally lost it. Bang it bang bang bing bang 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 bang